So hi guys, welcome back to the channel Life of Daddy here. Please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel. So on today's topic, we want to talk about the main reason a narcissist hates you. These are some main reasons why a narcissist hates you. Because, you know, most of the time you are stuck with a narcissist and, you know, they tend, if you have a discard them, and you're basically still with them, and even after you discard them, you know, they still hate and envy you. And these are reasons why the narcissist, main reason a narcissist hates you. So the first one is they see things in you that they basically do not see in themselves. Because as I stated before, a narcissist basically have to mirror other people, you know, to basically feel as if, you know, they are living. That is why, you know, a narcissist basically love to basically be in competition with you because, you know, they don't have any identity. So, you know, they basically, you know, have to basically mirror other people. And the split fact that you are basically living in your truth, the split fact that you are basically, you know, you don't basically have to pretend. You basically, you know, be the wonderful human that God basically, you know, created you to be. You basically living in your characters. And so that is why the narcissist basically, you know, hate you because they basically see things in you that they basically don't see in their self and so that is why you know when you are with a narcissist they don't celebrate you they don't like you know when other people basically compliment you they don't like you know when you basically successful they always basically want you to be dependent on them and this is because as i said before they are not fully they are not fully um independent on their own and that is why as i state in other vlog they basically have to seek other sources they are like you know seeking other sources from other suppliers because you know they are not functional on their own they are just very dysfunctional and so that is why when you are basically with them you know they they, they are mixed you know, emotion. Narcissists do not even have any emotion because narcissists do not have feelings to basically even love or basically nurture or basically care. And that is why when you are with them, they treat you, you know, as if you are basically a nobody. And so that is why I encourage, you know, people to basically educate yourself about narcissistic personality disorder, NPD. And so that is why they basically um, hate you because they basically see things in you. Worse, if you are this person, you know, who basically a good character, you are this person who, you know, basically people, basically other people basically look up to you. And so that is why most of the time the narcissist, you know, try to basically paint a picture as if you are this bad person because the narcissist know that they are very toxic. The narcissist know that they are basically, you know, they are, they, they, they are dysfunctional and they basically have to basically have other people in their corner to basically steer them or to basically make them feel as if they are basically alive. And so that is why the narcissist basically hate you because you are fully de dependent on your own. You are fully independent on your own. You don't have to basically... Um, Act as if you are somebody be who that you are be who you are not. You are basically living in your truth. You are basically living in your true identity, and you are basically living in your purpose that God basically created you to be. And so the other one is they they envy your success. That is why when you are basically reason why a narcissist hate you also because they envy your success. That is why when you are basically with the narcissist and you know. You achieve another milestone in your life. That is why when you are successful and achieving all stuff, they don't congratulate you because they wish it were you. They, they wish, you know, they were the one who basically successful. They were the one who basically, you know, reaping the, 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 the fruits of, 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 of their, their labor. They wish they were the one who, you know, basically above you that is how a narcissist stay that is how basically a narcissist carry it out towards you and that is why when you are basically with them you know they don't congratulate you they don't want to see you successful even if you as i said before um achieve another milestone in your life they always trying to basically bring you down trying to let you feel you know as if you are this 
try to always basically break down your confidence and your self-esteem and your self-worth. This is how I say that a narcissist basically thrive off other people. You know, seeing other people unhappy, seeing other people in pain, seeing other people, you know. So as I say, that is also one of the reasons why the narcissist hate you. As I'm going to repeat, they, they, they envy your success. The other one is they, 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 they envy your confidence. If you notice, if you have discarded a narcissist, meaning exit a situation with a narcissist, if you notice when you were with the narcissist, if you enter the situation with your self-esteem and your self-confidence up to the max, when you are with them, they basically try to basically bring down your self confidence, basically bring down your self worth. And the reason why they have to basically do this to basically match back their, their self. Because as I said before, narcissists is dysfunctional. Narcissists do not have emotion. They carry emotion more than toxicity. Narcissists do not know how to love. Narcissists do not know, even love their self. And so that is why they, you know. They carry so, so much envy and try to basically break down your self-standard, break down your self-worth, break down your self-value because they do not have any self-worth. They do not have good characters. They do not have any uh, morals or principle. And so that is why when you are with them, you know, they try to make you feel as if you are nobody. They try to make you feel lesser than yourself. Even if you enter the situation with them, with your self-standard and your self-value and your self-morals up, a narcissist always try to bring you down, try to always bring down back your self-confidence and your self-esteem. And so that is why I always say it is always better to basically choose you, put yourself first and basically do what is best for you. Love you guys and I will catch you on the next vlog. Please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. Peace out.